Hey guys, it's Shagun here with a short video for my Galaxy S2 on the right side and my Nexus 1 on the left side. And what I really try to show is if, if there really is so much difference in day-to-day -day usage between a dual-core phone and a single-core phone. I mean, I have seen so much comparisons comparing single-core versus single-core or dual-core versus dual-core, but I haven't really seen a dual-core versus a single-core. I mean, of course this might be faster, but I just want to show and to want to know how much faster is it actually. And is it really twice the speed if it has twice the CPU? And is it really worth the money? So in this video I try to check that out, how, how big is the difference and I'm just trying to open some apps on a day-to-day -day usage, uh, maybe do some web browsing. Um, so you really see if it's on a normal usage like opening apps really that much of a difference if you have a dual core monster phone like the Galaxy S2 or just a Nexus 1. So both are running gingerbread, this is running Cyanogen Mod 7. Uh, this is a uh, touch with normal with a uh, lightning ROM uh, kernel. So I'm just gonna. Um, both came after fresh reboot. I'm just gonna clear uh, here and clear apps here so it's a fair comparison. So let's start here with open some heavy apps here, like the gallery, I guess. Let's oh, try to press at the same time. Back. There we go. Let's try to open a picture. Let's get back here, try to open some other apps like uh, the browser. Okay. Not much of a difference there. Let's try to open the market here. It's funny, they're on the same uh, internet connection, both on Edge. So you might also see some reception issues here on the Galaxy S2. I don't know why that is. Just one open. They're both on the same provider. So that should not affect the speed at all. Let's go to uh, Gmail, open these apps. Okay, that was definitely faster on that one. Uh, let's open some other apps here. We go, what do we got? Um, let's open calendar pad. Oh, where are you, calendar? Here we go. Third party app here. Okay, that was really much, much quicker on S2. Let's get to maps here, for example. Okay, that was instantly. Let's open music. Oops. Um, hi. Here we go, music and music. Okay, similar. But I mean, in the end, um, I, I think you get the idea. Of course the Galaxy S2 is faster. If it's that much faster that it justifies a dual core, that's uh, in your opinion. But that was a short video to give you some new insight if dual core versus single core really is that much of a deal. And if you have a single core device still, I mean, you're, you're good to go. Um, so, yeah, that was the video. Thanks for watching.